Welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the remarks on back propagation algorithm. I've made three videos, part one, part two, part three, about back propagation algorithm, explaining each and everything. So in this video, we are going to see the remarks on back propagation algorithm, and with this, we are going to stop the topic of back propagation. Don't worry. Okay. So we have total of five remarks, and I'll explain you all those in detail. And before starting the video, let me tell you something. If you're having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know your exam date, and also along with your college. name in the comment section so that i can make videos by that time and also according to your college syllabus okay done so now let's get into the video and the first remark is convergence and local minima so uh, convergence and local minima is nothing but you already know that the back propagation is a multi layer algorithm right so it supports for multi layer neural networks where you can go back and you can change the weights right so here convergence in the sense all the neurons are interconnected to each other all the neurons converge at a point converge at a point in the sense the meet up at a point they in, they are interconnected to each other so the information is being passed to each and every neuron so the information passing also will be very fast okay so all the neurons are interconnected to each other you can simply say uh, with this word convergence and what is your, what do you mean by local minima so you can by using the back propagation algorithm what do we do we are minimizing the errors right by modifying the weights we are minimizing the error right so here the minimization of errors can be done only locally but not globally you can minimize the errors but only within the network or within the uh, you know locally only you know what local and global are right local is nothing but within global means outside it can be accessed throughout the program global variables and local variables you know what local and global are right so it it you can minimize the errors only locally then and second is the representational power of the feed forward network see you are representing a neural network right and how you are representing the neural network that is uh the representation power that means how detailed you are rep representing how much uh, effectively how much detailed you are representing will depend on the depth and on the width of the network right on the depth that is how many nodes you are using the width and the depth how much wide it is and how much depth it is right so the representation power how much detailedly you are representing a network will depend on the width and the depth of the network okay and how do you do this representation the representation in order to do in order to represent a network we actually use functions okay so what are the different types of functions we use we use boolean function we use continuous function and we use arbitrary function what do you mean by boolean it, it can be either true or false only two variables you'll have only two values you'll have right continuous in the sense you know what continuous values are real values right and arbitrary in the sense some random variable some random function you'll be using by random just by random you'll be using okay and the third that is the hypothesis space search and inductive bias i already made one separate video itself about hypothesis space search and inductive bias you can watch that video and inductive bias in back propagation is somewhat difficult to characterize okay and what is the fourth step fourth remark hidden layer representation so by using back propagation algorithm you can define some new features in hidden layer which are not explicitly represented in the input that means explicitly input will not show you those new features but based on input based on the input variables based on the behavior of input you can uh, you know derive some new features and those features can be represented by the hidden layer okay done so that is about hidden layer representation and the last one is generalization overfitting and stopping criteria so it is very simple when you have to stop your algorithm when you have to stop your back propagation algorithm how to generalize this algorithm because each and every time you have to calculate the forward error you need to calculate the you need to modify the weights and then you need to do so each and every time doing very long procedure you don't have a gen, you know a very short procedure for this and what about overfitting of data right and stopping criteria is nothing but Uh, so when you have to stop this algorithm right at what point you need to stop you already know when you have to stop the algorithm when the error is almost close to the zero or when the error will be below the threshold value that we have set right so then is 
so then you have to stop your back propagation algorithm right so these are the five remarks we have on a back propagation algorithm i hope this video is clear for you if yes hit the like button and also share it with your friends if you're having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this video just ask me in the comment section and if you're if you want me to explain any other videos or any other uh, topics, subjects, anything, just let me know that in the comment section. I'll be very happy to take suggestions from your side and I'll definitely try to make videos according to your uh, suggestions, right? And uh, thanks for watching the video till the end. Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic.